He was a man who made sure the law was upheld. Clarence Tariq Hammond III, a corrections officer, was killed Saturday, January 13th, 2012. Hammond was outside the President Madison Apartments on Harlow Drive near 13 Mile and John R. in Madison Heights. The suspect approached and shot Mr. Hammond as he was coming home from work. He still had on his uniform and he was found lying outside of his vehicle. What do we know about the circumstances surrounding that initial incident? Well, they're still actively uh, investigating. Uh, he was with his girlfriend at the time. Is yes. that right? Yes. And and so what, what did she tell police that she saw, that a man was approaching them both and that he, the man apparently made it seem as though it was a robbery, but you are convinced it sounds like Others are convinced that it wasn't a robbery, that the suspect was just trying to make it seem like a robbery? Uh, yeah, I'm convinced that they tried to project that it was a robbery taking place. But I really believe that um, that the murder was pre it was premeditated. It was planned. She told, stated to my son, there's someone coming toward us with a mask on. And uh, as he approached the car, they were, get, they were, they were getting out. And... Um, he told, he told them to empty everything out. Now, I don't know if he said anything out their pocket, but he had a he had a box like he wanted them to put something in, in this in this box that he had. Then he tried to force them to get back in the car. My son, he he insisted on. He said, "No, he's not going to get back in the car." They refused to get back in the car, and he made a statement stating that you don't believe that. That I'll sh that I'll shoot you, and he took it, and the and the killer took his mask off, and my son, according to his girlfriend, my son, turned his head in disgust, as as to say I can't believe who this is, and that's when he shot my son, that's when she ran off. Whoever that was, it lifted up that mask, and and that person said. You don't believe I'll shoot you, do you? Very matter of fact. Nobody, no robber does that. They want, whoever that was, wanted them to know it was them. Turned his head in complete disgust. He gets shot and they walk off. They don't take money, watches, nothing. Because they were sad. They came, they, you know, their job was complete. They got what they came for. So what would you say to anyone who has spoken with the suspect involved in Tariq's murder? I would say, do the children a favor. If you have children, you should be able to relate. Do the children a favor. You can, you can stay anonymous and call in and give the police the information that you have so that you can rest because somebody's not resting and should not be. Give this family some rest and some peace. Family says a total of $12,500 is being offered as a reward. Of that, Crime Stoppers is putting up $2,500 for tips leading to an arrest. And remember, anything you know and share when you call 1-800-SPEAK-UP will always keep you anonymous. Your information could be the key to putting a murderer behind bars.